You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. It was actually a series of narrow state wins that gave President Obama a decisive victory despite an unemployment rate that posed a serious threat to his 2012 campaign. President Barack Obama won a second term Tuesday after a race that was primarily fought in just a handful of battleground states. You, the American people, reminded us that while our road has been hard, while our journey has been long, we have picked ourselves up, we have fought our way back, and we know in our hearts that for the United States of America, the best is yet to come. Florida is still too close to call, but even if Romney won the state, Obama still handily beats him in the Electoral College vote. The popular vote will likely be closer. And whether I earned your vote or not, I have listened to you. I have learned from you. And you've made me a better president. Obama beat Republican challenger Mitt Romney after nabbing almost every one of the 12 crucial battleground states. Around 1 a.m. Eastern, Romney spoke to supporters in Boston to let them know he had made a concession call to the president. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory. His supporters and his campaign also deserve congratulations. The former Massachusetts governor said it was time to put aside partisan bickering and work together for the good of the country. This is a time of great challenges for America, and I pray that the president will be successful in guiding our nation. The newly re-elected president spent the night here in Chicago. He has no public events scheduled for today. He and the first family arrived back at the White House at 5.30 this afternoon. Robin Paula. And TJ, no one really expected or predicted such a wide electoral victory for the president. What demographics kind of helped him seal the deal? Well, the president really won big among African-Americans, women, and Latinos, and that's certainly what they were counting on. And in fact, he won among Latinos by an even greater margin than he did four years ago. And that actually raises serious questions about the future of the Republican Party and their greater broad appeal. All right, TJ Winnick there in Chicago. Thank you, TJ. Get some sleep.